Hello, we can see that. Mummies above, oh my days, potential extraterrestrial mummy found in Peru. Or is it something close to home? Or even a hoax? I thought we'd take a look. It's an exciting find. As more and more information is released, it generally appears not to be human. The presentation of the mummy and its reporting is currently headed up by Gaia. They are an on-demand on video service covering metaphysics, extraterrestrials, the mystery of space, yoga and meditation. They were alerted by Jamie Muson, a well-known Mexican journalist. Muson stumbled, stumbled across videos on YouTube detailing discoveries in Peru of large mummified three-fingered hands near the Nazca lines. This sparked Muson's interest and led to findings of fully intact mummified humanoids near the Nazca lines. So far, we've only seen the largest mummy. The Nazca lines in Peru are a mysterious series of huge geoglyphs in the Nazca desert, Peru. The forms vary from lines, geometric shapes, and animals such as birds, fish, llamas, and jaguars. Muson contacted Gaia to present his findings. Shortly after, with a team of scientists, Gaia traveled over to Lima in Peru. The team included a forensic expert, biologist, surgeon, and radiologist. The scientific results are being released incrementally in various short seven to 10 minute videos. The videos are behind a paywall, so to watch, you need to subscribe to Gaia. I will of course post all the names of the scientists involved for you to check in more depth. I will avoid attempting to pronounce their names because it will just end an absolute failure. But as you can see via the CGI, it's a humanoid in origin with three fingered hands the skull also appears very different to our own. The tests are ongoing. So far they've taken x-rays, CAT scans, carbon dating and DNA samples. The samples have been sent to five different countries for analysis. The carbon dating points towards the mummification process happening around 245 to 410 AD. The CAT scan further confirms that it's unlikely the mummy's bone structure has been tampered with in any way. In essence, it shows no evidence of this being faked through human intervention. The texture does look like plaster of Paris, like a type of casting, but apparently the white, gray, dusty appearance is typical with other mummies of this age. Commonly, the mummification process, organs tend to be removed, but this specimen, the organs remain and were never extracted. Although through chemical analysis, they discovered the embalming substance to preserve the mummy has many similarities with what was used in ancient Egypt. The skull composition is very different to humans. The mummy's skull is constituted by one complete bone, whereas human skulls, bone pieces are fused together. It was further revealed that the mummy is actually female. They had decided to name her Marie. Strangely, the area in which the mummy was found, they also discovered petroglyphs, illustrations carved into the rock detailing three-fingered beings. One of the researchers was saying that if the results are conclusive, then anthropology, paleontology, and natural history potentially need to be rewritten. Many independent news platforms are reporting this story. There, was, there has been wide discrediting of this finding, predominantly in the tabloid media, but they persistently failed to detail any of the research. Collected Evolution posted a video discussing the website Snoops, a fact-checking website that is used regularly by Facebook. Snoops' journalistic integrity seems very shoddy in reporting this story as fake. Again, there's been a complete failure so far to look at the evidence. It is true, though, many stories online have been highlighting claims its extraterrestrial origin, which, of course, is jumping the gun. More information is needed before coming to this conclusion. Questions have also arisen over Jamie Muson. According to various websites, he has been involved in a few dubious areas of research with little solid ev evidence of his claims. But on the other hand, with rigorous science behind it, maybe his involvement is inconsequential. This has been Reconsider. Bye-bye.